Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be installing Windows 10 on a brand new SSD drive. So on my separate video, I just replaced the regular hard drive with the SSD. And in this video, I'll be installing the Windows 10 fresh install on the SSD. And I'll walk you through the process on how to do that. But first, you definitely need to have this USB installer file. This Windows 10 installer file, I'll make a separate video on how to create this bootable uh, USB drive. And uh, check out the, uh, the link or the little square box at the end of the video. I'll try to link it for you. And you need to create this USB bootable disk um, drive for Windows 10. And once you change out the hard drive on the laptop, then uh, you can go ahead and start installing the Windows. All right, let's go ahead and put it on the side here. So go ahead and turn on the, uh, the laptop. Let's power up the laptop here. While the laptop is powering on, let's go ahead and press F12. So you can see it says preparing boot menu and here what you want to select is you want to select send this all right so this is the uh, uefi send this meaning that it's looking looking up my usb windows 10 send this let's go ahead and select that press enter and i want to install the win windows setup for 64 bit Press enter. All right, here you want to select the language uh, whichever language that you prefer to use, I'll be using the English United States. Time and currency format is English United States. The keyboard input method is US. Go ahead and click Next. Click Install. Go ahead and accept the license and terms. Make sure you read all the uh, terms and regulation. Check the box and click next. Go ahead and click on custom windows, custom install windows only. And this is the brand new hard drive, the solid state drive that I install. And let's go ahead and select that and click next. And in this process, what you want to do is just wait it out. Um, you can fast forward the video, uh, the video if you like, um, or just stay with me. I'm not going to pause the video. I'll be just let it, um, you know, let it run, and uh, just wait for the installation to complete. All right. So I'll come back and show you what's next on the next screen.
All right, pretty much you're done and you just want to restart the computer. And once you restart the computer, you don't have to press the F12 anymore. Um, right now, the Windows has already installed in that solid state drive and the computer is booting up directly with the hard drive. Uh, at this point, you can actually remove the USB and just put it on the side. And right now, you're just doing the complete setup for the Windows 10. And I'm pretty sure you know what to do from, from now on. Um, pretty much, it would ask you to um, you know, put in your first, last name, set up a password, things like that. Um, I'm not planning to set up the laptop with Microsoft account. I never like to install um, like the BitLocker or be encrypted on the hard drive or even being synchronized with the Microsoft account. I like the laptop to be a standalone by itself. Um, so I'm going to show you to you on how to bypass, um, not to get that install or get that set up. Well, the laptop is getting ready to, um, give me the next following steps on what to do. Uh, please take this moment here, go ahead and click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And I hope that this video helps. Uh, let me know if, if it helps you. Comment below and, and if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to, uh, uh, to answer those questions for you. Alright, so it is still booting up. Hopefully it gets to that point. And we're going to do a complete setup for you. Yeah, it is taking a while. Usually, it should be a lot faster than this. I'm not sure what is happening. Um, let's just give it a minute or two, hopefully. I mean, this is an older computer, so this may take a while. But it runs on the solid state drive. So it shouldn't be taking this long. If not, I'll just power up, power off the laptop and then re-power back up and hopefully that would fix the problem. Well, it started now. It just took a while to just load up the screen. And again, this is the older computer, so just be patient with it. Um, but if you have a faster computer, a newer one, it shouldn't take this long. Uh, yeah, so just, just follow the steps. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. 
Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? I'm going to click yes. Your keyboard is set to yes. E. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Skip. Now let's get you connected to a network. Here, that way you can get updates, me. apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? So you're going to ask you if you want to select the Wi-Fi and get connected or the wired Ethernet cable. I'm, I'm just going to just click so you know, skip for now, to network now because you do not want to connect. And you click no for that one. All right. Type what so you want that to one name you your no. account. I'm trying to pause her. She's talking too loud. I'm mute her for now. All right. So pretty much what it is is... Um, like I said, I'm not trying to set up the computer. Um, I'm not trying to set up the computer as the Microsoft account. I'm using a standalone. Do not want everything to synchronize up in the cloud. So this is where I'm going to skip now with the internet question that she asked me earlier. And here it says Cortana. I want to say decline. I do not want her to talk to me or listen to my conversation. Just decline that. And do more devices activity history. Say no to that. Do not keep track of me. Do not follow me. And accept the terms and condition of privacy. And that's pretty much it. And once the setup is done, it will just boot to the uh, window screen. The regular desktop screen. All right, so there you have it. The Windows is all set up. And again, if you're interested on making the USB bootable uh, for your Windows 10 or Windows 11, let's go ahead and check the uh, the description below or maybe the uh, little box here on both sides of the corners. I'm trying to link it for you. Uh, so you need to make this bootable USB uh, before you can do the fresh install, the fresh Windows install on your laptop after you're replacing the hard drive. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. And if you have any question, comment below. If you find this video is helpful, please give me a like. I really appreciate you for doing that. Um, I hope you learned something today. Until next time, please take care now. Bye.